When starting your proctoring session, you will first be shown the basic exam details as well as a basic diagram on how a proctoring session works. Please review the name and duration to ensure this is the exam you intend to start. Any permitted items for this session will be listed below the name and duration. In addition, any additional notes will also be listed as well. For this example, there are no permitted items or exam notes. It is important to note that the extension icon is now locked in green. If at any time during your proctoring session you need assistance, you can find our support button in the bottom left of your screen. Click this button to gain access to our knowledge base as well as the ability to connect to a support agent via our live chat tool. Once you have confirmed this is the exam you wish to take, click the continue button. The next step will, will provide some details on what you will need to do to prepare for your exam. Review what is required and then click the continue button. The system check page is used to ensure your system meets minimum specifications required. Additionally, you will have the option to modify your input devices. If a webcam is required for this session, and if more than one webcam is attached to your computer, you may select your preferred camera for this session. If, recording is, if, if audio recording is enabled for this session, and more than one microphone is connected to your computer, you may also select the preferred mic as well. Your internet connection speed will also be tested. If your session requires only one monitor or screen to be attached, there will be an indicator here. This example does not have that requirement enforced. Once you are comfortable with your settings and your system meets the requirements for the session, you may click the continue button. If recording is required for your session, you'll be displayed a consent to record. Please read the consent and check the prompts indicating you agree to be recorded. Click the continue button to proceed. If your session is set to record your screen, you'll be taken to a step to select the screen to be recorded. When the share your screen dialog appears, click on the screen you wish to share. Please keep in mind that this dialogue could take a few seconds to appear. After selecting your screen, click the Share button. In the event the Share Your Screen dialogue does not automatically appear or you click away from it, you can always click the button to manually launch the dialogue. After sharing your screen, you will automatically be taken to the next step. On the next step, you will see a message like this one at the bottom of your screen. This is the standard Chrome message that indicates you are sharing your screen. It is very important that you do not click the Stop Sharing button as it will end your proctoring session. Instead, we suggest clicking the Hide option, which will hide this message and avoid accidentally clicking the Stop Sharing button in the middle of your exam. For users on Chromebooks, there is a similar message to this, but it looks just a little different. We also suggest closing that dialog box. You will then be asked to take a photo of your face, align your head into the green box, and then click the Take Photo button. Once your photo is captured, you will have the option to retake the photo if you are not satisfied with it. If the photo is sufficient, you can confirm the photo and move to the next step. Next, if your session is set up to obtain a picture of your government issued photo ID, please hold your ID within the green box and click take photo. In this example, a cell phone is being used, but in a normal session, you would use your ID card. You may then choose to retake the photo or confirm it to continue. After your photos have been captured, click the continue button. If your session is set up to require a room scan, you will be prompted to do so next. If you are unsure what a room scan is or how to do a proper room scan, you can click the link to open up a video that explains how to do a proper room scan. When ready, click the scan button to be or click the start recording button to begin recording. When finished, click the stop recording button. At this point, you are all set to begin your exam. You will click the Continue button to be directed to your exam. 
Please keep in mind that if your exam is within a platform outside of your course, you may be directed to the login page to that third party system. In this case, you will simply log into that system using the credentials you have previously used and navigate to your exam. If you are not taken to the page that requires you to input your exam password, this dialog will appear to assist you with unlocking your exam. As you navigate to your exam, if this dialog is in your way, you can simply click the blue icon, the blue key icon, to hide it. At any time, you can re-click this icon to open the dialog back up. In this example, the user must click the Take the Quiz Again button. Please keep in mind that if, you, if your exam is within a platform outside of your course, you may be directed to the login page to that third-party system. Again, in this case, you will simply just need to log into that system using credentials you have previously used and navigate to your exam. When you arrive on the page that requires the exam password, the system may be able to detect the password field. If it does detect the field, the password will automatically be added to the field. At this point, you just need to click the button to unlock your exam. Should you get to the password field and no password is automatically input, you can use our manual process via the password assistance dialog we just looked at. If you have closed this dialog or it did not automatically open, you can click the blue key icon to reopen it. After the dialog is open, click into the exam password field. You just need to make sure the cursor is in the field so that the password can properly be injected by the system. Then click the inject password button within the dialog. At this point, the exam password will be populated into the password field. You can then click the submit or continue button to open your exam. Keep in mind that if you have any issues gaining access to your password, you can always click the support button in the bottom left of your screen. After unlocking your exam, if your exam is being timed, your timer will now begin and you will be taken to the first question. At this point, you will complete your exam as normal. If at any time you navigate away from your exam for whatever reason and you need to unlock your exam again, keep in mind you can always do this via the password assistance dialog by clicking the blue key icon. When you are finished with your exam and have submitted it, you can click the Stop proctor Proctoring Session button at the top of your window. This will stop all recording and end your session. It is very important that you have already submitted your exam prior to clicking this button. After clicking the Stop Proctoring Session button, a prompt roll will appear to confirm that you have complete, completed and submitted your exam. It is very important that you have submitted your exam in the testing platform prior to exiting your session. If you have not completed your exam and wish to return back to complete it, click the cancel button. If you have completed your submission, you can go ahead and simply click the confirm and disconnect button. After ending your session, you'll be taken to a screen indicating your session is complete. It is possible that a dialogue like this also appears. If this occurs, you will need to wait for the progress bar to move over to 100%. Depending on your internet connection speed, this could take several minutes. Once everything has been wrapped up, the message will indicate the process is complete and you can close the button, uh, click the button to close the window. As a reminder, not every session will have this extra dialogue that pops up. This typically only happens if your internet connection is a little slower. It is important that you let this process complete if the box does appear. If the extra dialogue does not appear or it has completed this, the process already, it is then safe to close the tab. As a reminder, if you need to reach out to our support team at any point during your session, you can always do so via the support button in the bottom left of your screen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and best of luck on your exam.